Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we're watching Ferris Bueller's Day Off. What do you know about this movie? This is like a super famous 80s movie, I believe. There's Matthew Broderick. I think he's in school. There's like a part that's like Bueller. Oh, okay. Like over yeah. and over again. That's, That's all it. I know about the film. Yeah, so this is your first time watching. Definitely an iconic movie. I've seen this one before. We were actually talking about this the other day, kind of a lot of these, what were they called? Brat Pack? Oh yeah, the Brat Pack. I don't know if this is a Brat Pack, I guess, maybe? I don't know. I've only seen Breakfast Club, so I think there's a good amount of these types of films that I haven't seen. Right, like these coming of age type yeah, high like, school movies and exactly. stuff from like the 80s or... Maybe we'll go a run on those, but this actually won our comedy Patreon poll. So we would like to thank all our patrons for voting for this to win our comedy Patreon poll. I'm really excited to get into it. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. I want to go to a good college so I can have a fruitful life. What's this? What's his problem? Oh, what? Yeah. Jeannie? Is that you? <laughs> you can't see. I can't see that far. Jeannie? Bite the big one, Junior. Thank you, Jeannie. <laughs> I was bleeding out my eyes. You guys would make me go to school. This is so unfair. You have your health. Be thankful. <laughs> It's nice to know that I have such love and caring parents. Matthew Broderick is literally the same <laughs> as he is at however old he is right now. One of the worst performances of my career and they never doubted it for a second. <laughs> okay, wait, I recognize that I'm too. sure there's gonna be a ton that you recognize. <laughs> How could I possibly be expected to handle school on a day like this? Such a beautiful day. My ninth sick day this semester. If I go for 10, I'm probably gonna have to barf up a lung. Nine sick days in a semester? Right. You lick your palms. It's a little childish and stupid, but then so is high school. <laughs> Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Adams. Here. Adam Lee. Here. Hey, Aaron. Bueller. Bueller. <laughs> um, he's sick. Thank you, Simone. Fry. Oh, God. <laughs> Fry. What a nice house. Yeah. Where are you? I'm taking the day off, Nick. <laughs> I feel like complete shit, Ferris. I'm sorry to hear that. Music changes. <laughs> right? You're not dying. You just can't think of anything <laughs> good to do. Knew exactly what he was going to say. This is Bueller that Ferris does not have an exemplary attendance record. He has missed an unacceptable number of school days. <laughs> He has missed nine days. Oh. oh, wow. I asked for a car. I got a computer. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> Not the white out. Ferris is home and he is very ill. Great. I can assure you he is truly a very sick boy. <laughs> Never had one lesson. <laughs> really? <laughs> the Great Depression. Anyone? Anyone? A tariff bill. This is torture. Did it work? Anyone? Anyone know the effect? Anyone? It did not work. His voice. I'd be with... asleep. Anyone know what this is, class? Anyone? <laughs> the laugher curve. Anyone know what this says? This is so long. <laughs> you will get exactly the same amount of revenue. Anyone? Impressive bubble. If Ferris dies, he's giving his eyes to Stevie Wonder. <laughs> what? Hi, Jeannie. Shut up. <laughs> Did you see Alien? The creature was in that guy's stomach? It kind of feels like that. <laughs> God damn, are you kidding? No, of course I'm not kidding. Do I sound like I'm kidding? <laughs> Ferris, how's your bod? <coughs> oh my god, you're dying? <laughs> it's everything. I think I may need a kidney transplant. Are you upset? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You'll be alive this weekend? Yeah, I'd say I will. <laughs> I'd say I will. <laughs> These are written records? He gives good kids bad ideas. Jeopardizes my ability to effectively govern this student body. He's already warping the freshmen. <laughs> Oh, well, he's very popular, Ed. The motor hits, geeks, sluts, bloods. <laughs> it's a first-class ticket to nowhere. You sounded like Dirty Harry just then. Thanks, Grace. 
If you're not over here in 15 minutes, you can find a new best friend. You've been saying that since the fifth grade. <laughs> hey, Ferris. Yeah. Love you, pal. I love you, too. Such great parents. 20 bucks says he's sitting in his car debating about whether or not he should go out. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, poor guy. <laughs> Having a breakdown. Forget it. Just let him be sick in peace. In what? Oh, this is so bad. Prison symbolize. Man, how do these kids get through the day? Right. Uh oh. Is that a nurse? Sloan Peterson. <laughs> Me? Your grandmother has just passed. Oh, darling. Oh, honey. Who's this girl going out with? I do see her with Ferris Bueller quite a little bit. <laughs> Would you get me Mr. Peterson's daytime number, please? Uh-oh. Oh, you know, it's Mr. Peterson. Do you still want his daytime number? <laughs> Produce a corpse and uh, I'll release Sloan. Produce a corpse? Did you say you wanted to see a body? Yeah, that's right. Just uh, roll her old bones on over. <laughs> Ed Rooney's office. Hi, this is Ferris Bueller. Can I speak to Mr. Rooney, please? Uh. <laughs> Tell you what, dipshit. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Ed, Ferris Bueller's online too. <laughs> it's pure fear. Sister, to bring home any assignments for my classes that I might need. Oh God! Don't go back. Yeah, no, I, I, I think I owe you an apology, sir. Well, I should say you did. <laughs> <laughs> a family member dies, and you insult me. What the hell is the matter with you? <laughs> You're an asshole. Uh, you are absolutely right, sir. <laughs> Just shaking. This isn't over yet, Buster. Do you read me? Uh, loud and clear, Mr. Pete. <laughs> I'm a little scared, because what, what if he recognizes my voice? Possible. You're doing great. Rooney! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter by herself. I don't want anybody it's too suspicious. He'll think something's up. Rooney! Uh, Rooney! Yes! Rooney! I want you out in front of the school with her. I'd like to have a few words with you. What? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Wait. That was so bad. Why'd you kick Where's me? Where's your brain? Why'd you kick me? Where's your brain? I asked you first. He's sick. I said for her to be there alone and you're free. I didn't hit you. <laughs> you hit me. <laughs> the man could squash my nuts into oblivion. <laughs> See you later, pal. I'm going home. Oh, no, come, no, come on. Don't do that. Cameron, come back. <laughs> you serious? Yeah. Walking past all the doors. Ferrari 250 GT, California. A nice car. <laughs> my father spent three years restoring this car. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. It's his fault he didn't lock the garage. He never drives it. He just rubs it with a diaper. <laughs> Mr. Rooney would never believe Mr. Peterson drives that piece of shit. <laughs> Whatever miles we put on, we'll take off. Oh. We'll drive home backwards. <laughs> How about we run a nice Does he even have his license? I think he just doesn't have a car. Oh. Come on, love a little. <laughs> Cross. Uh -oh. French coat. I guess that's my dad. <laughs> You're a beautiful man. I want to thank you for your warmth. Your taxes. Any questions so far? <laughs> She's gonna lose it. Do you have a kiss for daddy? Are you kidding? <laughs> hmm. Awkward uh, relationship. There. <laughs> so that's how it is in their family. <laughs> If you had access to a car like this, would you take it back right away? Neither would I. I feel so bad for Cam. <laughs> so big in a tiny car. <laughs> it's giving Cameron a heart attack. <laughs> Save Ferris. God love him. Save Ferris. See, we're collecting money to buy Ferris Bueller a new kidney. They run about 50 G's or so. <laughs> Go piss up a flagpole. I'm sorry? <laughs> Should be. Hey! Oh no! 
The kidney. And what if you need a favor someday from Ferris Bueller? Then where'll you be, huh? You heartless wench. <laughs> and watch your mouth this time. Uh oh. Now he's got Sloane Peterson involved in this. Her grandmother too. Reach the Coughlin Brothers Mortuary. <laughs> mortuary. Something's going on, god damn it. So much effort to get out of one day of school. Teen years from now, when he looks back on the ruin his life's become. Yikes! I mean, don't get me wrong, Ferris is a little shit. <laughs> it could get wrecked, stolen, scratched, breathed on wrong. <laughs> Take extra special care of this vehicle. Okay, come. Uh... But I have a feeling it's the last time we're ever going to see that car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That car is gone. Uh-oh. Is that his mom? Sure, he has it all set up in his room. Did you see the arm? <laughs> Ferris, I don't feel too good. Can we leave soon? I think I see my dad. It's terrifying. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> right? I made Froman. Party of three for 12. <laughs> Dollar. Leave before I have to get snooty. Snooty? Snotty. <laughs> Snotty. I have another call. Huh. There's another phone around here somewhere. Find it. Please, come. Too far. <laughs> hey, you can never go too far. <laughs> the sausage king of Chicago. White t-shirt, sweater vest. Devastatingly handsome. <laughs> Mr. Froman, oh. this is Sergeant Peterson, Chicago Police. <laughs> <laughs> it's understanding that makes it possible for people like us to tolerate a person like yourself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You thought we wouldn't have any fun. Shame on you. They are quite clever. Why should everything work out for him? What makes him so goddamn special? Her villain origin story. <laughs> Can you appreciate what it must have been like, Cameron, to be in that joint as a baby? <laughs> it's good for him. It teaches him to deal with his fear. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jeannie. Who's bothering you now? Is Mr. Rooney in? He's left the school grounds on personal business. What's that supposed to mean? It means it's personal and it's none of your business. <laughs> what a little asshole. <laughs> Let's surrender. Never. <laughs> Just put on the shades and figure it out. Amy, you're one of the brightest guys in this business. You know what it takes to push this over the top. Okay, he's got the money. <laughs> Oh, no, I never saw him. <laughs> no one pays any attention to their surroundings. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the music is good in this. Your ass is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely deserve that. <laughs> Game over. What's the score? Nothing, nothing. Who's winning? Hey! Kennedy, 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 so winning, bada. I think he's feeling better. <laughs> yeah. Save Ferris? <laughs> you realize if we played by the rules right now, we'd be in gym? <laughs> I hate him. I love all the cuts to like the different scenes and stuff. Parked right in front of a fire hydrant. <laughs> this is Ferris's house, right? It's Ed Rooney Ferris. I'm sorry. I can't come to the door right now. I could take a nasty spill down the stairs. <laughs> I am not leaving till you come down and talk to me, Ferris. Have a nice day. Oh. Uh -oh. I can't come to the door right now. I could take a nasty spill down the stairs. Caught him. Have a nice day. Kind of. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lost his shoe. <laughs> Just the noises. Pants are ripped. 
Uh... Just flying. What is this plan? Oh. There's his plan. <laughs> <laughs> But if there's a massive dog door, I'm assuming there's a massive dog. <laughs> oh, man. Terrifying dog. <laughs> Such a long day. They've been able to do so much already. I was thinking that when they were at the baseball game. <laughs> Such a beautiful scene in the museum. It's getting late, buddy. We better go get the car back home. You think I don't care? I know you don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Look over there. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky rabbit's foot. <laughs> Licking the glass and making obscene gestures with his hands. What? <laughs> Sick youth. <laughs> she was a goner. And I'd like to dedicate it to a young man who doesn't think he's seen anything good today. <laughs> Just took over a float. What are you interested in? Nothing. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Ferris is gonna do? He's gonna be a fry cook on Venus. <laughs> fry cook. <laughs> Such an iconic scene. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care anymore. <laughs> nope, everyone's just dancing. Oh. Got the whole parade partying. <laughs> the flower lady's fault. <laughs> Sleep tight, Pooch. Oh, jeez. Breaking and entering, or just entering. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Ferris. Oh shit! <laughs> You're right. This tune is one of my personal favorites. So in one piece. Yeah. That was so quick, right? <laughs> so quick. My God. Yeah, see you later. Later. What is the mileage on this thing right now? Right? It didn't look like there was any scratches on it. Yeah, man, we're going to do this again. <laughs> nice that you hope my brother's feeling better, but I'm in danger, okay? <laughs> I am very cute. I am very alone. Very cute. <laughs> Lost his shoe. How long has he been out? I know. <laughs> his jacket's ripped now. I have my father's gun and a scorching case of herpes. <laughs> <laughs> so don't touch her. Hey, wait, 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 that's my car. I'll move it. <laughs> you shit it! Ah! Such a bad day. How many miles did you say this thing had on it when we left? <laughs> How many miles are on it now? Here's where Cameron goes berserk. <laughs> the whole city hears him. Heard that you were feeling <laughs> ill. What is that? <laughs> 
Dude. Likes to what? <laughs> Who'd they hire for Ferris? He'll go to one school and I'll go to another. Basically, that will be it. Preston? I just realized he's the older sibling. Oh, I guess you're right, yeah. She still has another year of high school. How do I deal with that? Cameron, blink if you understand me. <laughs> we better try something else. This isn't working. <laughs> Why don't you come in here? It's really nice. Just a zombie. <laughs> it's nice down here. Oh shit, Cameron, come on. Cameron, come on, wake up. Ferris Bueller, you're my hero. You're kidding? <laughs> <laughs> what is Charlie Sheen doing there? Why not? Are you in here for drugs? Why are you here? Drugs. <laughs> you wear too much eye makeup. My sister wears too much. People think she's a whore. Oh, God. I know what's wrong. I just want to hear you say it. I hate my brother. That's cool. Did you blow him away or something? <laughs> So you're pissed off because he ditches and doesn't get caught, is that it? Basically. <laughs> you want to spend a little more time dealing with yourself, a little less time worrying about what your brother does. Therapist Charlie. If you say Ferris Bueller, you lose a testicle. Oh, you know him. <laughs> Aren't they just going to add a crap load more of Miles? <laughs> Worrying about everything. Wishing I was dead. I'm tired of it. Best day of my life. Aw, Cam. Did you see me change out of my clothes by the jacuzzi? I thought you were catatonic. <laughs> That's why his day got better. I better check on the car. The miles aren't coming off, going in reverse. My old man pushes me around. I never say anything. This took a turn. Yeah, it's serious for Cam. I gotta take a stand against him. Right or wrong, I'm gonna defend him. Oh no. Who do you love? Who do you love? Oh no. Oh. Going right out the back. My father will come home, you see what I did. I can't hide this. Take it off the gas. I can't wait to see the look on the bastard's face. I do. You killed the car. How far did it go down? Not that far, but it's destroyed. Whoa. <laughs> Wait for your father to come home, and when he gets here, I'll tell him that I did it. I want it, I'm gonna take it. That's it. He and I'll just have a little chat. It's cool. So the last time they ever saw Cam? <laughs> right. I can assure you that her father and I are going to have a long talk with her when we get home. <laughs> Tell them all the guys at the station here are pulling for him, hmm? Oh, right. He's super sick. <clears throat> he looks like a ghost. A lot of guys call me Shauna. <laughs> okay, Jane. Um, I'll see you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I love the music to that scene. Oh, shit. I have to go. The five minutes? I love you, too. He's gonna marry me. <laughs> I was about to close the damn deal with the Vermont people. She's the one getting in trouble today. Stop! Jeannie, what the hell are you doing? You trying to kill <laughs> Paper all over the place. I'll never get this back in order. <laughs> really? She's got to beat him home now. I'm on Jeannie's <laughs> team. <laughs> Run away from the police. <laughs> Is that his dad? Yeah. Oh man, they're all getting there at the same time. <laughs> Can't even see. He has sound effects. Yeah, he's got brakes. <laughs> it's like, what did I just see? <laughs> I 
It's so cool. Where are the cops? <laughs> she lost them. Dog door. Speeding ticket, another speeding ticket, and I lost the Vermont deal because of her. I think we should shoot her. <laughs> what? <gasps> oh. Looking for this? He was still there? I have reamed about this. I've got you right where I want you. Ferris, we're home. Oh my god, all the flowers. <laughs> no, we've been worried sick about you. Thank you, Mr. Rooney, for driving him home. Go upstairs and get in bed. <laughs> <laughs> you left your wallet on the kitchen floor. <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> Dog's back. <laughs> Get so many again. flowers. Plenty of time to spare. Uh oh. Oh, <sighs> oh no. <laughs> Perfect. He's still awfully warm. <laughs> Sprinting for the last 10 minutes. How'd you get to be so sweet? <laughs> Years of practice. <laughs> <laughs> Such an innocent face. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. <laughs> You're still here? It's over. Go home. <laughs> Go. All right. That was Ferris Bueller's day off. What'd you think? It was so much fun. I feel like there was a good amount of like heart, obviously a ton of comedy. All of the characters were so good. Oh yeah. Some of my top favorite characters that probably aren't normal because they're not like in the main cast, but I loved the principal's assistant. She was excellent, <laughs> she yeah. She was hilarious. The way that she would talk about the kids and she's just like, bunch of assholes. <laughs> <Right>. Like, <laughs> I thought that she was great. She was a great team with the principal who had obviously seen one too many kids ditch school. Right, yeah. He was on a war path. Yeah, he was gonna go to jail to get <laughs> Ferris Bueller. Committed multiple crimes just trying to catch him. <laughs> yeah, that was a ton of fun. Obviously, I knew that it was like him missing school. Right. But there were so many iconic moments that I didn't know came from this film. Seeing it again, I realized how many times Times other things have taken inspiration or parodied this movie. Yeah. I mean, it's a ton. Obviously, I already knew about the Bueller thing. Those yeah. teachers were all <laughs> awful. Oh my God, if I had gone to high school with teachers like that. Wouldn't have made it. No, I would have been asleep like half the year. Oh yeah. Probably the first time that I saw this movie, I just thought it was a funny movie or something. But seeing it again, I can appreciate how well of a movie it's actually made. I mean, just some of the shot selection and how they edited the movie together. You had so many great moments of how you're talking about the boring teachers and how it cuts to just students with the most miserable looks on their face. The scene in the museum was actually very beautiful yeah. for a couple of shots. And then there was the one shot of Cameron looking at the painting and going back and forth. Just the little girl's face. <laughs> Just cutting back and forth, back and forth. The scene where the principal is at the pizza place and stuff and they show up on the screen and as he looks at the screen, they, they yeah, they cut away from that. There's just so many moments in this that stand out. Yeah, and definitely the, I'm gonna, I don't know if I should try to do it because I don't, the, the, Oh, like right, that yeah. noise. I feel like that's an iconic sound. I didn't know that this is where it came from. Obviously the song prior to the movie. Right. I didn't realize like this was probably the most famous time that the song was used. That scene, especially of him jumping on the trampoline and jumping out. And there's actually a Domino's pizza commercial, I think, with Steve from Stranger Things yeah. reenacting that scene, like trying to beat- Oh, the delivery yeah, driver? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to look it up again or something. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, obviously that chase home scene is so great with her speeding past the cops and almost seeing the dad. I think you probably really loved the sister. I was totally <laughs> team Jean for a good portion of that movie. <laughs> I'm an only child, so I don't have a sibling that I was ever like rivaled with, but I just felt so terrible for her. Like she just kept getting like the shit end of the stick and Ferris was like, 
just a... <laughs> you hated Ferris. I was not really a fan. Like, he was just a little shit. And I loved his relationship with Cam and with his girlfriend. I thought they were such a fun trio, but it wasn't because of Ferris. Like, I liked his girlfriend and his friend. <laughs> But every time Ferris would do something, I was just like more annoyed that everything was just working out so perfectly for him. So you're exactly like his sister. Just yeah. like, why is everything working so perfectly for this slacker? I just felt bad for his sister. Um, <laughs> and then in the end, like the fact that she saves him from the principal, it's like, wow, after all that, she still came in clutch. But there's two reasons. First of all, she finds out that that was the guy who broke in and scared the shit out yeah, of her. Yeah, no, she was already pissed. And then the other one is that line of another year at high school. So if she was the younger sibling, which I guess she was, yeah. She doesn't want another year with him. Yeah, I know and I understand that it was like a selfish <laughs> thing. It wasn't really about saving Ferris, Ferris. But I mean, he literally had the most perfect day. All of the shit he did is only gonna cause problems with Cam and his family. Nothing that he did, there's no consequences for his actions. Nope, he gets away with everything. <laughs> And that's Ferris. <laughs> it's definitely iconic movie, iconic characters. But yeah, Ferris is just the ultimate slacker. I yeah. mean, he is so intelligent in his ability to quick think, to get out of situations and how to handle the stressful problems, even with the whole setup of how to fake being sick and yeah. being one step ahead, like the call for the grandma and like the two parents. Yeah, how it went, like all the voicemails. He has to be skilled with hacking and computers and electrical stuff. Yep, changed to, his absence. Yeah, dates. changed the dates and set up the doorbell to for the automatic recording. He's a prime example of a kid who is just so insanely smart that he doesn't need to do anything to just coast by and he could just be the ultimate slacker. So you look at him and it's just like, dude, what the heck? Does it sound familiar? <laughs> so, so we went to a lot of schooling together. Yeah. Uh, we dated through college and I think we both had difficult majors. I had to study my ass off <laughs> for everything that I did and you didn't have to ever study uh -huh. and you never did your homework and you still got better grades than I did. I am a prime example of an ultimate slacker. Not to Ferris's level because no. I got caught plenty of times. Yeah but I would just use my skills to do nothing. At least Ferris explored the city and had a great day. I would just stay home. So he, so, he was way better than me. I guess, the, really, it sounds like just my jealousy is coming out <laughs> here, but um, I had a lot of fun watching this. I think that Ferris is a very likable character. And I really, honestly, I liked everyone in this. Obviously the principals, suck but yeah it was just like a lot of fun i really liked the scene with the parade like there was just so many great moments that they got to spend the whole day and it's their senior year right. they talked about leaving and there was emotional moments there's deep not necessarily dark but deep moments throughout this movie and it primarily comes through with cameron and whenever ferris is speaking to the fourth wall mm -hmm. ferris obviously is aware that he is leaving Cameron is going to probably have a more successful life than him. His girlfriend is still going to be in high school while he's in college. There's a real chance that his whole life is going to be entirely different in the matter of half a year or a year. Mm -hmm. So this is his way of just trying to make as many amazing memories while he still has the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And it really goes to that line, like if you don't stop to look around every once in a while, life is just gonna pass you by. Yeah. So you really do need to appreciate what you have while you're in the moment instead of looking back and being like, man, I miss the good old days. Yeah. So it is very, a deep movie. And especially the Cameron situation of him just kind of being walked all over all life. And you have Ferris who's such an extreme character in mm -hmm. his ability to just push everything to the limit and get away with it almost to a frustrating level. Yeah. But he drags Cameron along yeah. in that, and he kind of gets Cameron out of his just like depression shell. Yeah, just like his funk with his family and everything. Yeah. So as much as we may never see Cam again, because <laughs> um, his father is going to murder him. Right. But I think 
it was an important moment for him, but it was still just like Ferris's fault. Like all of this was Ferris's fault. It is. Ferris gets away with everything and everyone else around him has the consequences. Yeah. His mom needs to deal with the police for his sister who gets arrested for and a she, phony charge. And she lost the deal for her. Yeah, the mom lost the deal. That Nothing happened to the dad. He was just skating through as well. But uh, Cameron, obviously in a major amount of trouble. The principal... I mean, he was just abused the entire movie. I mean, is he going to make it out alive past that dog? Maybe not. He might be dead in the backyard. <laughs> like, everyone around Ferris's life, other than his girlfriend, uh, had a rough day because of his actions. Yeah, he's just imploding. But it's just hilarious how everything unfolds. It's just done so well. However many times he would cut between certain scenes or something of, like, his parents being like, oh my god, he's so sick, he's, like, on death's door. And then it would cut to him, like playing the clarinet or something like that. I can't believe how far the same <laughs> Ferris got either. And the fact that there's just like flowers, the whole police station is like telling his mom, like we're thinking of him. He's on the water tower. That was a lot. And it also goes to show how things just get blown completely out of proportion. Just like a game of telephone. Yes, yeah. Oh, did you hear? Yeah. I loved this. I definitely can see how this is like such an iconic movie. Like we touched in the intro, we do probably have a ton more of these like Brat Pack type of films. Right, yeah. To get through John Hughes. Yeah, these um, classic teenage coming of age stories. Yeah. So I'm excited to watch more of these, but... This was a lot of fun. I'm glad that I finally got to watch this. Yeah, and I'm sure now going through other stuff, you might see the references to all of these yeah. scenes. I mean, like I said, watching this again, now I'm like, oh man, I've seen this in Family Guy. I've seen this in Deadpool. I've seen this in commercials. You see this movie referenced to this day in pop culture. I mean, yeah. this movie has incredible staying power. Yeah. So it's a great comedy. It has a deep story when you really look at it. Phenomenal characters. Like you said, everyone is amazing in this movie. Yeah. Whether you hate them or like them, they play their roles perfectly. You have great cameos, like Charlie Sheen just randomly showing up and giving like life advice to Gene. <laughs> I mean, that was such a funny moment, too, when she's like, oh, most people call me Sheila. And he's like, all right, Gene. And she's just like squirming on the stairs. And they have the song playing in the background. It starts with Sheila, and I think it changed. It, I think it was like Sheila Jean or something <laughs> is the name. So, I mean, there's just so many clever and amazing moments. And I'm really happy that you were able to experience this. Yeah, no, me too. This was worth the wait. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.